friends, this is Patty Bennett with pattystamps.com. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and very excited to share some tips with you about the new Painted Petals stamp set available beginning January 6th in the Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog for 2015. I wanted to share some tips with you that I learned as I was creating this card using this stamp set. This is where you will find it in the catalog. It's on pages 18 and 19 and it is called Painted Petals, 13 stamps in the set. And when I first received my catalog, I was looking at this sample and I thought that all those leaves were one stamp and all the flowers were on a separate stamp. And I found out after studying this a little bit and then using my stamp set that that was not the case. The, actual stamps are separate pieces. Um, these are together, but these little leaves are separate. And so it was a, just a little bit of a learning curve for me to figure out how to stamp the leaves and the flowers. So I just wanted to show you how I did that. Now if you haven't received your Occasions catalog yet and you're one of my customers, please let me know. Now if you're not a customer and you don't have a demonstrator yet, I'd love to be your demonstrator and send you a catalog. You can leave me a comment below the YouTube video or on my blog. And, and please don't be confused. This little cover here says, is an advertisement for Celebration, which is our biggest sale of the year running from March January 6th to March 31st in 2015. But if you flip that open, you'll actually see that beautiful cover of the Occasions catalog. Okay, so as I mentioned, I was making these tags for that card. And you can see that each one is colored a little bit differently. I'm going to show you how I accomplished that. But you'll notice here how the leaves are, and the little stems are kind of spread out. And then I have the flowers inter spursed among the leaves. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So here are the two pieces. Let me hold this against the white so that you can see that. So there are all the pieces of the leaves. Boy, sorry, I know this is a little hard to see. When I ink it up, you'll be able to see it better. And these are the pieces of the flowers. And together, they're going to create that tag. When I use my photopolymer stamps, I just wanted to mention again that I love to use my stamp and pierce mat, but I'm going to just cover it up with a scrap piece of paper here so that as I stamp off the edge a little bit of the tag that it won't get onto my mat. I'm just going to punch the tag real quickly using this new ornate tag topper punch. It's on page 35 in the same 2015 occasions catalog. I absolutely love punches. I don't know about you, but punches are my thing. So there's what the little topper looks like. And you just cut your paper into a two inch strip and insert it in all the way. You push as far as it goes, punch down, and then you have a great tag. We have three different toppers to choose from. This is the one that I'm using for this card. And then you can just discard that little topper part. All right, so I'm opening up my garden green ink pad. And this is where I've got my uh, petals, and, excuse me, my stems and leaves. That's going to be in green, so I'm just going to get that one ready. And this one is all of the flowers that I decided to use. So what I did prior to stamping was I took all these little pieces and I laid them out on the tag so that I could get as many of them on the tag as I could. I laid the pieces down, I put down my block and it stuck to them and that's how I got them in this configuration. So to ink them in the two different colors, I'm opening up Strawberry Slush and Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to ink, I'm going to ink the whole thing in Daffodil Delight. And then I'm just going to tap on the Strawberry Slush 
very lightly on some of those, not all of them, and then press. And every one of these is going to turn out a little bit differently. So there you see I've got all the way from the daffodil to the slush and then kind of in between. So that's the flower part. And then when I ink the leaves, now that I have the green on there, you can see that a little better. So those are all the pieces. And then what I did was I laid those pieces down so that they kind of connected all of those flowers. And then I'm just going to reposition that. Here we go. Sorry, back into place there. And press down. And there you have the leaves that connect so you can see there how the leaves connect all of the different flowers. So let me just clean these off and then I'm going to show you from scratch how I did that. Okay so I cleaned those off and you can see that that's a little bit stained. That's just what happens after you do 40 or 50 of these cards the ink will stain just a little bit, but I'm not concerned about that. It doesn't affect the performance at all. So I know this video is kind of going a little bit backwards because I showed you the finished one first and how I did it, but now I'm going to show you how I placed those on here. I just wanted to be able to do that before I took them all off. Okay, so the, the pieces of the flowers that I used were actually four separate pieces. Okay, so there they are, straight out of the box. This is what you would find. And what I did, like I said, was I laid them down onto my tag so that I would get just about the most, most on there as I could. Let me just move that out of the way so you can see that. Okay, and then I had this one over here kind of towards the edge, and I had this little bloom down here, about like that. Okay, so I laid them on the tag and decided that's about as many flowers as I could get on that tag, and then I just put my block down, and I pressed, and I lifted up, and there they are. So then they're ready to stamp. So then... I had to go ahead and stamp one of them. I'm just going to ink that in all strawberry slush. This is just going to be a sample there. Okay, so there they are all in place. And then here are the leaves that you have. So when you get them out of your stamp box, you'll have the leaves and the stem pieces that look like this. And then what you would want to do is just start laying them down in whatever arrangement you want. I'm going to put this little piece kind of going there. So if you take them off your block, you know, like I did, then you're going to get a different arrangement every time. So you can see that's why I left them on there to show you in the beginning what I had done. And so then you just press your block down and now all of those are in place so that when I ink it and stamp it, then you're going to get all those little pieces that are connected. So I hope that makes sense. You can make, you know, any arrangement that you want to out of all of these stamps and you can do lots of different configurations of um, really pretty leaves and stems and flowers. But this one is probably your simplest one. You can see here that it's just those stems on one piece and then these two at the top. So maybe to start out, this is probably your easiest tag to do. And then as you start playing with different configurations, you can start doing that type of a thing that I did. And just play and, and put out your flowers and your little leaves and stems and make any configuration that you'd like. 
All right, so stay tuned. I'm going to have another video for you on die cutting this beautiful butterfly. That's another product in the Occasions catalog. And I found out a great tip, so you'll want to see that. And that will give you a great tip for cutting out your butterflies. So enjoy your painted petals set, and I hope this tip helped you. Have fun!